Uh, these are 10 things I picked up. I wrote down, to give you, I don't have it on there, to help us to maximize our potential. Number one is you need to know your source. In other words, being born again is developing a close relationship with God our Father, amen, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do that by prayer and by reading the Word, amen? Mm -hmm. Prayer, reading the Word, meditate on the Word, and being a doer of the Word, and getting to know Jesus. Number one, know your source. Number two, faith and love. I just talked about those right there. Faith and love. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And you can't do, no matter how much faith you have, if you don't have love, it doesn't accomplish anything in the long run. Mm -hmm. Number three, you need to know your purpose. Okay? Why are you where you're at doing what you're doing? What, what is your purpose? What, is, what do you want? If you don't know what God wants you to do, then the best thing to do is pray and study the Word. And God will reveal that to you. Okay? Because you're here for, you aren't here by accident. You're here on purpose. Amen? Mm -hmm. Okay? Number four, know your resources. Okay? Your resources. What can I do to help myself? Okay? Yeah, if I was a manufacturer, I would have to know where to get my, the, the basics for my product. Uh, I'd have to know how to sell them. I'd have to have a, I'd know how to advertise it. I'd have, there's only things I'd have to know about the resource part of it before I could get the product out. Okay? For your, your own personal potential, you need to know your sources. The Word of God. The Holy Spirit, okay? And what your abilities are. What do you do? God, God says He'd give you the desires of your heart, okay? So what is, what is your heart desire to do? And then you have to ask yourself, does it line up with the Word of God? Is this what God really wants me to do? And He gives you the desire to do it, and you go do it. Amen? And wow, you never know what might happen. Yeah. Number five, have the right environment. Okay? If I wanted to, to be a great river guide, I probably would not live, uh, move to Las Vegas. <laughs> or Reno. Because there's no rivers there. <laughs> right? If I wanted to be a river guide, I would want to live in Rogue River, Oregon. <laughs> Or Grants Pass, got a river flowing right through here, right? Okay? Know your environment. Okay? What are you going to accomplish? Okay? Uh, are you going to, if you're going to write, you need to know how to write. If you're going to do music, you need to know how to play music. You need to know your instruments. You need to know what to do. That means that there's a process in learning how to do that stuff. Somebody, some of you might be a teacher. Say, so you're really good at something. There's people in here that want to be around you because they can learn from you. Amen? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then number six is to work out your potential. Everybody say work. Work. Everybody loves that word, right? <laughs> if you stop and read, uh, what do you think the, the first thing that God gave Adam was? To his wife? A job. Gave him work. First thing God gave Adam to do when he created him was to go out and to name all the animals and to take care of the garden. Mm -hmm. Okay? He gave him work. And then after Adam was there and he, he was getting lonesome, God says, well, it's not good for man to dwell alone, so I'll make you help me. So he made Eve. And Eve came down and they worked together. Amen? So, uh, work. Do you realize that you can have all the potential in the world, but if you don't put it to, to use, it won't do any good. The only thing, the only way potential happens is if you work the potential. Mm -hmm. Amen? Work it. That means I gotta get out and use my hands or do whatever I have to do. Okay? I, I'm almost 80 now and I'm, I'm still working. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm not, I'm not planning on quitting because I, I can't imagine sitting in a old folks home uh, uh, drinking tea and watching TV shows mm -hmm. and hoping I can make it to the bathroom in time. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. The, I mean, there's a lot of people that that do that, and they're happy, but uh, I still have things I have to get done. And uh, and, and this is what I found out. The, what the Bible says: a man, days of a man, are 120 years. Okay. That means that means I still got 40 years to go, so I I can't let myself go down. Okay. All right. Cultivate your potential. Number seven, cultivate it. Cultivate it with, hang out with uh, people that know what you call to do. Hang out with the Holy Spirit. Hang out with God. Spend time in the Word. Spend time in prayer. How many of you know God can show, can show you some that will take years off of your, your life? <clears throat> oh, well, hard work. Mm -hmm. Can can share something. God can give you a gift. All of a sudden, you know how to do stuff that you didn't know how to do. If you read the Old Testament, God took just plain old ordinary people and made a master art artist. I mean, he did these phenomenal things. Amen? Yeah. So you might be a world-class artist. I don't know. But God does. Yeah. He knows what he put in you. So you need to cultivate that potential. The next thing is Number eight is to guard it. You have potential, and the devil doesn't want you to reach your potential. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come and try to discourage you by telling you you can't do it. You're not smart enough. You're not big enough. You're not strong enough. You're not rich enough. You're not this. You're not that. But the Bible says, my God supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. If he put the potential there, he will help you reach that potential. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. The devil will try to keep you from doing it. So put the devil under your feet. Tell him he's a liar. He tells you you can't. And God says you can. Then who are you going to believe? Amen? Amen. So right. you are a warrior. Mm -hmm. run, off the, run off the devil. Okay. And then... Uh, uh, Number nine is share your potential. Share it. Mm -hmm. you know, you're going to give it away. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the good stuff. How many of you know that all the things that God created have a potential to help some, somebody? Mm -hmm. God created the sun. The sun comes down and, and warms us up and it helps us grow food and it does all kinds of stuff, right? Okay, how many of you realize God created water? Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad He created water? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, every time I think of it, I'm like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. And it's healthy. Wow. And God created that. And I could just pump it right out of the ground. Amen? Mm -hmm. What a good deal. Share. Somebody, <clears throat> somebody needs that gift. Amen? And number 10. It's called freedom and power. We all want freedom, right? How many of you know freedom has rules that go with it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Freedom has rules that go with it. You can see what happened in uh, up in Seattle where they decided we don't need rules or laws. We can just do whatever you want. It's a disaster. Amen? Okay? God gave us rules to live by. Mm -hmm. Okay? If we mess up, his grace is sufficient to forgive us if we confess our sin. He's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us. Amen? We can repent and ask God to forgive us and move on and do it right the next time. Amen? Mm -hmm. But there are rules that God has for us to live by mm -hmm. so that we can maximize our potential. And then power. The Bible says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you to be witnesses unto me. Okay? What comes along with power? How many of you like to have the power of God work in your life? Yeah. Only one person, two, two people, three. <laughs> okay, we want the power of God. Okay, along with power comes responsibility. Yeah. 
if God's going to give you power, you have to have re, you have to take the responsibility that goes with it. Mm -hmm. If there's anointing on your life to do something, there's also a responsibility to accomplish that. Amen. Yeah. Okay, now I've got a few more things I'm going to go through uh, really fast here. Now, the Bible says God creates the fruit of your lips. Mm -hmm. Amen. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So. To increase your potential, what we need to do is, is take and, and speak the word of God out so God has something to create. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of fun things. These are just things I wrote down. Said, this is, these are all lined up with the word. God wants this to come out of your mouth. So we're going to read it together. I am who God says I am. Okay, you're not who the devil says you are, you're not who your, your teacher says you are, or who, you're who God says you are. Okay, say that again. I, I am, am who God, God says, says I am. am. I can do what God says I can do. Say that. I, I can, can do, do what God, God says I can do. do. This is your personal confession. Okay, God's creating the fruit of your lips. Amen? That's right. Amen. God will never leave me or forsake me. You're not on your own. God is always there. Amen? I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay? God says, be ye holy even as I am holy. We have the Holy Spirit living in us so we can actually live a, a life of holiness to maximize our potential, okay? Mm -hmm. If you're living a life of sin, your potential will be destroyed. I choose to be all God says I am and will do his will. Everybody say, I choose. I choose. To be all God says I can, I am. Mm -hmm. To be all and, God says I am. And will do his will. And do his okay. will. There you go. You say that every day. Yeah. Change your day. I walk by faith in God's word. Say that. I walk by faith in God's word. I study and meditate on God's word. I study and meditate on God's word. That might even, wow, you know, I didn't know I said that. That's really good. God can, God, God, every time you get in the word, God talks to you. Yeah. Amen? I study and meditate. I speak God's word and defeat the devil. Say that. I speak God's word and defeat the devil. God's word is the sword of the spirit. It's the offensive weapon that we have to run off the devil. Mm -hmm. When you speak God's word, so say it every day. Yeah. I speak God's word and defeat the devil. Amen. I am more than a conqueror. Say that. I, I am, am more than, than a conqueror. conqueror. Everybody say more. 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 What is it? A conqueror is someone that wins. Mm -hmm. You're more than a winner. Yeah. You are a, a child of the Most High God. Amen. You are the inheritor of the kingdom of God. Amen. You are a joint heir with Jesus. Amen. Amen? Yep. I mean, you've got a good deal. Yep. So when the devil cries to tell you, he says, get under my, he's trying to put you down. You say, I am more than a conqueror. Amen? Get under my feet. That's right. I am an ambassador for God. Yep. I, am I am an ambassador, an ambassador for, for God. God. And here's, here's one of the things you have to remember about an ambassador. The ambassador is somebody that is is doing the legal work for somebody else. The ambassador to America that goes to France stays in a nice place. America supplies all of their needs, supplies all of their food, and takes care of them while they're doing America's business, right? Okay, if we're in America, we're God's ambassadors here then when we're about his business, then God's going to take care of us. That's right. Because we're his ambassador. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Amen. He owns the silver and the gold thereof. 
I am a soul winner. I lead the lost to Christ. There you go. I, I am, am a soul winner. winner. I, I lead the lost to Christ. Christ. This is something that we all need to be about doing. Amen. This is one of the purposes that we're here for. Okay. I'll tell you what. When you stand before God and he asks you, what have you been doing for the kingdom? You know, well, I don't know. I watched the news last night. I know I watched the, uh, you know, whatever it was. Believe it or not, God wants us to go out and win souls. Yeah. If you haven't won a soul yet this year, it's time to go win some. And I'm going to go really fast now. We're going to say two things. Two things. A person needs to do to get saved. Actually, three. Number one, repent. Number two, confess Jesus as Lord. And number three, believe that he's raised from the dead. Amen. Okay? Repent. Okay? That means turn away from your, your sin. Number two, confess Jesus as Lord, supreme authority, will and boss. Number three, what is it? Believe that he is alive. That's right. Okay? <laughs> Romans 10, 9 and 10. Okay? I am a soul winner. I lead the lost to Christ. If you haven't been doing that, it's time to start let it out of your mouth. And then when the day comes, you know, Oh, I told God today I was a soul winner. Maybe I ought to go do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the potential that he has within me. Can you imagine what's going, what's happening in Billy Graham's life right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, he is up in heaven with God, and he has led millions of people to the Lord. Can you imagine what it would have been like to have been his Sunday school teacher that led him to the Lord? Mm -hmm. And she's up there in heaven with him, and she is saying, wow, I had no idea when I led that little boy to the Lord what was going to happen. So the potential is beyond your imagination, folks. It can be expanded. I am seated at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. Say it. I, I am seated, seated at, at the right hand, hand of God, God in Christ Jesus. Jesus. If you're in Jesus, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God the Father. That makes you seated with him. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? You're not on your way to, to the lake of fire, I tell mm -hmm. you that. No. My name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yep. Ready? My, My name, name is, is written, written in, in the Lamb's, Lamb's Book, Book of, of Life. Life. When you confess Jesus as your Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that's when your name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And if you read the last book of Revelation, everyone whose name is written in that book will not be judged in the final judgment. Jesus took that judge, judgment on himself. I am predestined to be just like Jesus. I am predestined, predestined to, to be, be just like Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Praise him. Think about that. Okay. Watch out, devil. <laughs> I have on all the armor of God and a two-edged sword in my hand. Okay, ready? Watch, Watch out, out, devil. I have all the armor of God and a two-edged sword in my hand. Yes. Okay? Now that, Amen. That comes right out of Ephesians chapter 6. Read it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You're a winner. Amen. And you can run off. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Amen? Yep. He says cast out the devil. In Jesus, I am a warrior in the kingdom. In, in Jesus, Jesus I, I am a warrior, warrior in, in the, the kingdom. kingdom. Never thought you'd say, I, well, I'm a warrior, but you are. Mm -hmm. We have to Amen. fight the devil every day. Amen. Because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to put him under. That's right. Jesus came to destroy his works. Amen? Yes. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Amen. Amen. Let me say, I am, I am more than a conqueror. More, more than, than a conqueror. conqueror. Okay, hallelujah. Indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the potential that you've placed within each person here. We thank you, Lord, as we learn how to maximize that potential that we can change the things that we've been going slow on and uh, be, be come out of here stronger and, and uh, more like Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the purpose that you've created us, and we thank you for the potential that you've placed within each of us pray right now for each person that's out there in television land, Lord, you administer to them, 
if there's anyone out there that hasn't been saved, just remember, repent, confess Jesus as Lord, I believe in your heart. God's raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. And I just want to encourage you to, to uh, come in and be part of all the World Christian Center in Grants Pass. If you're in Grants Pass, if you're not, you can check in on, on uh, all the World Christian Center. Uh, dot com and uh, go to our website if you'd like to help su support us financially you can do that send a check to all the world christian ministry at post office box 103 grants pass oregon god bless you all i love you everybody said amen, amen. amen.